Fiddler on the roof. <laughs> Sounds crazy, no? But here in our little village of Anatevka, you might say that every one of us is a fiddler on the roof, trying to scratch out a pleasant, simple tune without breaking his neck. It isn't easy. You may ask, why do we stay up there if it's so dangerous? Well, we stay because Anatevka is our home. And how do we keep our balance? That I can tell you in one word. Tradition. Tradition, tradition. Tradition, tradition, tradition. Tradition. Because of our traditions, we've kept our balance for many, many years. Here in Anatevka, we have traditions for everything. How to eat, how to sleep, how to work, even how to wear clothes. For instance, we always keep our heads covered and we always wear a little prayer shawl. This shows our constant devotion to God. You may ask how did this tradition get started and I'll tell you. I don't know, but it's a tradition. Because of our traditions, everyone knows who he is and what God expects him to do. Oh, day and night must scramble for a living, feed the wife and children, say his daily prayers, and who has the right, as master of the house, to have the final word at home? The Papa, the Papa, tradition, the Papa. Know the way to make a proper home, a quiet home, a kosher home. Who must raise a family and run the home? So Papa's free to read the holy book. The mama, the mama, tradition. The mama, the mama, tradition. At three I start in Hebrew school. At ten I learned a trade. I hear they picked a bride for me. I hope she's pretty. The sons, the sons, tradition. The sons, the sons, tradition. And who does Mama teach to mend and tend and fix, preparing me to marry whoever Papa picks? The daughters, the daughters, tradition, the daughters, the daughters, tradition. And who does want to teach us to do the right thing? In the circle of our little village, we have always had our special types. For instance, Yenta, the matchmaker. Avram, I have found the perfect match for your son, a wonderful girl. Who is it? Russell, the shoemaker's daughter. Russell, but she's almost blind, she can hardly see. Tell the truth, Avram, is your son so much to look at? With the way she sees and the way he looks, it's a perfect match. <laughs> And Reb Nahum, the beggar. Arms for the poor, arms for the poor. Here, Reb Nahum, is one kopeck. One kopeck? Last week you gave me two kopecks. It has been a bad week. So, if you had a bad week, why should I suffer? <laughs> <laughs> and most importantly, our beloved rabbi. Rabbi, may I ask you a question? Oh, certainly, my son. Is there a proper blessing for the Tsar? <laughs> a blessing for the Tsar? Is there a blessing for the Tsar? Oh, a blessing for the Tsar, of course. May God bless and keep the Tsar far away from us. <laughs> <laughs> in 
our village, and they keep a much bigger circle. For example, his honor the constable, his honor the priest, his honor many others. But we don't bother them, and so far, they don't bother us. Among ourselves, we get along perfectly well. Now, there was a time when he sold him a horse and delivered a mule, but that's all settled now. Now we live together in simple peace and harmony and everything. It was a horse. It was a mule. Oh, <laughs> Tradition, tradition. Without our traditions, our lives would be as shaky as, as shaky as a fiddler on the roof. Oh, now you see how we live. It is a struggle and a very difficult life, but as the good book says, somebody has to do it. There are simple pleasures, and for me, they number five. All of my daughters, yes, all daughters. Zaitl, my eldest, Hodl, my second, Hava, my third, and my little Sprinza and Bielka. They, they are my life. And of course, my wife as well, Golda. She is a story unto herself. A good woman, no, she has stayed with me all these years. Ah, but here comes the rabbi and Mendel, his son. Good Sabbath, Rabbi Tevye. Yes, good Sabbath, Rabbi Tevye. Sabbath. The rabbi is an old man, as old as the hills. In fact, I believe that he is older, but a very wise man indeed. Rabbi, tell me, is there a prayer for this old back of mine? A prayer for a back? There is a prayer for everything. Let's see, back, back, back. Bathsheba. Beelzebub, <laughs> Barnabas, <laughs> back, here it is. Harukata vertebrae, Harukata lower lumbar curve. <laughs> Dear God, we pray that you make Reb Tevya's back feel good. That was very good, Papa, but we must get to synagogue. Ah, but of course, good Sabbath, Reb Tevya. Good Sabbath, Rabbi, Reb Mendel. Good Sabbath, Reb Tevya. Now, my, it is getting late. I must be on my way also. It is almost time for Sabbath prayer, but not to worry. We will meet again. Mama, where should we put these? Put them on my head. By the stove, foolish girl. Where is Hava? She's in the barn, milking. When will Papa be home? It's almost Sabbath, and he worries a lot when he'll be home. All day long, riding on top of his wagon like a prince. <sighs> Mama, you know that Papa works hard. His horse works harder. And you don't have to defend your Papa to me. I've known him longer than you. He could drive a person crazy. He should only live and be well. Sprinza, bring me some more potatoes. Hava, did you finish milking? Yes, Mama. You were reading again. Why does a girl have to read? Will it get her a better husband? Here. Mama, Yet is coming. She's down the road. Maybe she's finally found a good match for you, Zaitl. From your mouth to God's ears. Why does she have to come now? It's almost the Sabbath. Go finish in the barn. I want to talk to Yent alone. Mama, can I go out and play? You have feet. Go. Can I go too? Go too. But, uh, Mama, the men she finds, the last one was so old and he was bald. He had no hair. A poor girl without a dowry can't be so particular. You want hair? Marry a monkey. After all, Mama, I'm not 20 years old and I just really <laughs> like... Do you have to boast about your age? Do you want to tempt the evil eye? Now away with you! Golden, Golden, darling! I have to 
to see you because I have such news for you. Come, come. And not just every day in the week news, no. Once in a lifetime news. And where are your daughters? Outside, no, good. Such diamonds, such jewels. You'll see Golda, and I'll find every one of them a husband. But you shouldn't be so picky. Even the worst husband, God forbid, is better than no husband, God forbid. And who would know better than me? Ever since my husband died, I've been a poor widow, all alone, nobody to talk to, nothing to say to anyone. It's no life. All I do at night is think of him, and even thinking of him gives me no pleasure. Because, you know as well as I, he was not much of a person. <laughs> Never made the living. Everything he touched turned to mud. But better than nothing. Yes. Good evening. Is Zaitul in the house? Uh, she's busy. You can come back later. But I wish to speak with her now. Later. Oh, Martel, I thought I heard you. Finish what you were doing. I said later. All right. What does that poor little Taylor Mottel want with Zaito? They've been friends since they were babies together. They talk, they play. They play? What do they play? Who knows? They're just children. From such children come other children. <laughs> Mottel, he's nothing. Yenta, you ah! said you were... Children, children. They are your blessing in your old age. But my husband, Myron, he couldn't give me children. Believe me, he was as good as gold. Never raised his voice to me, but otherwise he was not much of a man. <laughs> so what good is it if he never raised his voice? Well, what's the use complaining? Other women enjoy complaining, but not Yenta. <laughs> well, Golda, I must go prepare my poor Sabbath table. Oh, Yenta, you said you had news for me. <laughs> I am losing my head. One day it will fall off altogether, or hearts will kick it into the mud, and goodbye, Yenta. Of course. The news! It is about Laser Wolf the Butcher. A good man, a fine man. And I don't have to tell you that he is well off. But the poor man is lonely. You understand? I, of course you do. <laughs> well, to cast it short, out of the whole town, he has cast his eye on Zytel. My Zytel? No. The Zar Zytel, of course you're Zytel. Such a match for my Zytel. But Tevye wants a learned man. He doesn't like Lazar. Listen to me, Golda. Send Tevye to him. Do not tell him what it's about. Let Lazar discuss it himself. He'll win them over. He's a good man, a fine man, a wealthy man. So you'll tell me how it went. And you don't have to thank me, Golda, because aside from the small fee which Lazar will pay himself, it gives me such satisfaction to make people happy. What better satisfaction is there? So goodbye, Golda, and you're welcome. <laughs> good evening. Good figure, good height. You'll do just fine. Good evening. What did she want, Mama? When I want you to know, I'll tell you. Now finish washing the floor. I wonder if Yenta found a husband for you. I'm not anxious for Yenta to find me a husband. Not unless it's Motto the tailor. I didn't ask you. Zaitel, you're the oldest. They have to make a match for you before they can make one for me. And after her, one for me. So if Yenta brings oh, a husband... Oh, Yenta, Yenta. Well, somebody has to arrange the matches. Young people can't decide these things for themselves. She might bring someone wonderful. Someone interesting. And well off. And important. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. Find me a find, catch me a catch. Matchmaker, matchmaker, look through your book and make me a perfect match. Matchmaker, matchmaker, I'll bring the veil. You bring the groom, slender and pale. Bring me a ring, for I'm longing to be the envy of all I see. For Papa, make him a scholar. For Mama, make him rich as a king. For me. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match 
Find me a find, catch me a catch. Night after night in the dark, I'm alone. So find me a match of my own. Since when are you interested in a match, Hava? I thought you just had your eye on your books. <laughs> And you, you have your eye on the rabbi's son. Well, why not? We only have one rabbi, and he only has one son. Why shouldn't I want the best? <laughs> because you're a girl from a poor family. So whatever Yanta brings, you'll take. Right? Of course right. I mean the match for you. He's handsome. He's young. All right, he's 62, but he's a nice man. A good catch, Drew. True. I promise you'll be happy. And even if you're not, there's more to life than that. Don't ask me what. Father, I found him. Will you be a lucky bride? He's handsome. He's tall. That is from side to side, but he's a nice man. Catch, right? Right. You heard he has a number. He'll beat you every night, but only when he's sober. So you're all right. Did you think you'd get a print? Well, I do the best I can with no dory, no money, no family background. Be glad you got. Matchmaker, matchmaker, you know that I'm still very young. Please, take your time. Up to this minute, I misunderstood that I could get stuck for good. Dear Yenta, see that he's gentle. Remember, you were also a bride. It's not that I'm sentimental. It's just that I'm terrified. Matchmaker, matchmaker, plan me no plans. I'm in no rush, maybe I've learned. Playing with matches, a girl can get burned. So bring me no ring, groom me no groom. Find me no find, catch me no catch. Unless he's a matchless man. Today, I am a horse. Dear God, did you have to make my horse go and lose his shoe just before the Sabbath? That wasn't very nice. Isn't it enough that you pick on me, Tavia? Bless me with five daughters, a life of poverty. But what have you got against my horse? <laughs> Sometimes I think you sit up there and you look down and you say to yourself, let's see what kind of mischief I can play on my friend Tavia today. My breadwinner. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Where is your horse? He was invited to the blacksmith's for the Sabbath. Well, hurry home. The sun won't wait for you. And I have something I want to talk to you about. As the good book says, heal us, O Lord, and we shall be healed. In other words, send us the cure. We've got the sickness already. <laughs> I'm not really complaining. After all, with your help, I'm starving to death. Dear God, you made many, many poor people. I realize, of course, that it is no shame to be poor, but it's no great honor either. So what would have been so terrible if I had a small fortune? If I were a rich man, I'll diddle, diddle, dig a dig a diddle, diddle, dong. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Idle diddle diddle dig a dig a diddle diddle dum. If I were a biddy biddy rich, idle diddle 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 man, 
I'd build a big tall house with rooms by the dozen right in the middle of the town with fine tin roofs and real wooden floors below. And there would be one long staircase just going up and one even longer coming down and one more leading nowhere just for show. I'd fill my yard with chicks and turkeys and geese and ducks for the town to see and hear Squawking just as noisily as they can With each loud turkey, 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 turkey Will I like a trumpet on the ear As if to say he lives a wealthy man If I were a rich man, I'll diddle, diddle, dig a dig a diddle, diddle, dum. All day long I'd biddy, biddy, bum. If I were a wealthy man, I wouldn't have to work hard. Yeah, I'll diddle, diddle, dig a dig a diddle, diddle, dum. If I were a biddy, biddy rich, yeah, I'll diddle, 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 man. I see my wife, my Golda, looking like a rich man's wife with a proper double chin, supervising meals to her heart's delight. She would be putting on airs and strutting like a peacock. Oh, what a happy mood she's in! Screaming at the servants day and night. <laughs> The most important man in town will come to fawn on me. They will ask me to advise them, like a Solomon the Wise. If you please, Reptavia, pardon me, Reptavia, posing problems that would cross a rabbi's eyes. I die, I die, die, I die, die. And it won't make one bit of difference if I answer right or wrong. When you're rich, they think you really know. If I were rich, I'd have the time that I lack to sit in the synagogue and pray. And maybe have a seat by the eastern wall. I would discuss the holy books with the learned man seven hours every day. This would be the sweetest thing of all. Oy. If I were a rich man, yiddle diddle diddle dig a dig a diddle diddle dum. All day long I'd biddy biddy bum If I were a wealthy man I wouldn't have to work hard Yeah, it'll diddle diddle dig a dig a diddle diddle dum Lord who made the lion and the lamb You decreed I should be what I am Would it spoil some vast eternal plan If I were a wealthy man You forgot about my order oh, for the no, Sabbath. Oh, no, no, Remorka, I just had a small problem Red with my horse. You forgot Yo, about my problem, order yeah, for the Sabbath. Oh, this is bigger news than the plague in Odessa. Talking about terrible news, terrible news from the outside world. What is it? What does it say? In a village called Rezhenka, all of the Jews were forced to leave their homes and evicted. For what reason? It, it doesn't say. Maybe the Tsar wanted their land. Maybe a plague. May the Tsar have his own personal plague. Amen. Amen. Why don't you ever bring us any good news? It was only an a edict from the authorities. May the authorities start eating in a place they can't reach. Amen. Amen. Why do you curse them? What good does your cursing do? You stand around and curse and chatter and don't do anything. You'll all chatter your way into the grave. Excuse me, you're not from this village? No. And where are you from then? Kiev. I was a student in the university there. Ah, oh, 
the university. Is that where you learn to criticize your elders? No, that is what I learned that there's more to life than talk. You should know what's going on in the outside world. Why should I break my head about the outside world? Let them break their own heads. Oh, he's right. As the good book says, if you spit in the air, it lands in your face. That's nonsense. You can't close your eyes to what's happening in the world. He's right. Wait, if, if he is right, and he is right, how can they both be right? Oh, you know Afram. You are also right. <laughs> <laughs> He's right. He's no wet behind the ears. Good Sabbath, Reb yeah, Good yes. Sabbath. Good Lord. Sabbath. Good Sabbath. Reb Tev, yet the rabbi's order. My cheese. Oh, of course, of course. So, you are from Kiev, Reb uh, Herchik. Perchik. You are a newcomer here. As Abraham once said, I am a stranger in a strange land. Moses said that. Forgive me, forgive me. As King David put it, I am slow of tongue and slow of speech. That was also Moses. For a man with a slow tongue, he sure talked a lot. And the cheese? Right, of course, of course. Here, have a piece. I have no money and I am not a beggar. Oh no, it is a blessing for me to give. Here. Very well, for your sake. Thank you. You know, it is no crime to be poor, Reb Perchik. <clears throat> In this world, it is the rich who are the criminals. Someday their wealth will be ours. Well, that sounds very nice. If they would agree, I would agree. <laughs> and who will make this miracle come to pass? People, ordinary people. Like you? Like me. Nonsense. And until your golden day comes, Reb Perchik, how will you live? By giving lessons to children. Do you have any children? I have five daughters. Five? Daughters. Girls should learn too. Girls are people. He's a radical. I would be willing to teach them. Open their minds to great thoughts. What great thoughts? Well, the Bible has many lessons for our time. I'm a very poor man, Perchik. Food for lessons? Good. Good. Come and stay with us for the Sabbath. Now, we don't eat like kings, of course, but we don't starve either. As the good book says, if a poor man eats a chicken, one of them must be sick. Where does the book say that? Well, it doesn't say exactly that, but I'm sure somewhere it says something about the chicken. Good Sabbath, man. Good Sabbath, Reb Tavia. Good Sabbath. Come. Good Sabbath, children. Good, good Sabbath. Sabbath, Papa. Oh, come here, come, come. Good Sabbath. Children, children, come. I have someone I would like to introduce you to. Children, this is Reb Perchik. Perchik, this is my eldest daughter, Zaito. Good Sabbath. Good Sabbath. You have a very pleasant daughter. Oh, I have five pleasant daughters. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is mine. This is not mine, Perchik. <laughs> this is Mottle Can's oil, and he is the so tailor. You did me a favor and came home. This is also mine. <laughs> Golda, this is Perchik. He is from Kiev. He will be staying with us for the Sabbath. He is also a teacher. Bielka, Sprinza, come, come. Would you like to take lessons from him? Yes, yes, Papa. I'm a really good teacher, a very good teacher. I heard once the rabbi who must praise himself has a congregation of one. Your daughter has a quick and witty tongue. Oh, the witch she gets from me. As the good book says, a father with a quick and witty tongue. The good book can wait. Get washed. Oh, the tongue she gets from her mother. Tomato, you're also eating with us? Of course, another blessing. <laughs> Zaitel, two more. Sprinza, Bielka, get washed. Tomato can help me. Get the table. Hava, you go too. Um, you can wash outside at the well. Tevye, I have something I have to oh, say. Shh, I am praying. Tevye, I have to what? tell you. What is it? Laser Wolf wants to see you. Oh, the butcher? What for? I don't know, only that he says it's important. What could be so important? I have nothing for him to slaughter. After the oh, Sabbath, sure. see him and talk to him. What? Talk about... If he thinks he can buy my new milk cow, he can forget it. Tevye, don't be a knock. Some man sends an important message. At least you can talk to him. Talk about what? He wants to buy my new milk talk cow. Talk to him. All right, all right. I will talk with him. After the Sabbath, I will talk with him. Mm. 
Mottle. Yanta was here. I saw her. If they agree on someone, there will be a match, and then it will be too late for us. Don't worry, Zaito. I found a man who will sell me his used sewing machine. And then in a few weeks, I'll have saved up enough money to buy it, and then your father will be impressed <gasps> but, with me. But, Mottel, a few weeks may be too late. What else can we do? You could ask my father for my hand tonight. Now! Why should he consider me now? I'm only a poor tailor. And I'm only the daughter of a poor milkman. Just talk to him. Saito, if your father says no, that's it. It's final. He'll yell at me. Martel! I'm just a poor tailor. Martel! Even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. That is true. Will you talk to him? Will you talk to him? All right. I will talk to him. Late! Late! Where is everybody? Late! We must get Brev ready tevia. for Sabbath. Come, children! Children, Brev come inside. Brev children, Brev come. Brev we must light the candles soon. We must time for Brev Sabbath prayer. Brev Tevia! What? What is it, Malta? Uh, well, Malta, what is it? Uh, good Sabbath, Reb Tevia. <laughs> good Sabbath, Malta. Good Sabbath. Come, children. Come. Your best brandy, Reb Laser. What is the occasion? Are you getting ready for a party? There might be a party. Maybe even a wedding. A wedding? Wonderful! And I'll be happy to make the wedding merry, lead the dancing and so forth, for a little fee, naturally. Naturally. A wedding is no wedding without you and your fee.
Good evening, innkeeper. Good evening. If you'd like a drink, sit down, Fjerka. What can I get for you? Vodka, schnapps, vodka. Right away. Good evening. Good, good evening, good evening. Good evening, Remorka. What good are evening. you doing here so early? Oh, he wants to buy my new milk cow. <laughs> good evening, everybody. Hello, good evening, Reb Tevya. Reb Lazar. Ah, Tevya, sit down, have a drink. I will not insult you by saying no. So, how goes it with you, Tevya? How should it go? You are right. And with you? The same. I'm sorry to hear that. So, how's your brother-in-law in America? I believe that he's doing well. He wrote you. No. Then how do you know? Well, if he was doing badly, he would write, no? Tevya, I suppose you know I wanted to see you. I do, Reb Lazar, and I must say that there is no use in talking about it. Why not? Why, yes, why should I get rid of her? Well, you do have a few more without her. Oh, I see. Today you want one, tomorrow you may want two. Two? What would I do with two? Well, the same as you do with one. Tevye, this is very important to me. Why? Why is it so important to you? Frankly, because I am lonesome. <laughs> lonesome? How will a cow prevent you from being lonesome? Tevya, that is no way to talk about her. Oh, she is mine, and I will talk about her any way that I choose. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't know? These are, we are talking about my new milk cow, the one you want to buy from me. <laughs> A milk cow! So I won't be lonesome? But what is so funny? I was talking about your daughter. Your daughter, Zaito. My daughter, Zaito? Of course your daughter, Zaito. I see her in my butcher shop every Thursday. She's made a good impression on me. I like her. And as for me, Tevya, I have my own house, my own servant, my own shop. Look, why do we have to try and impress each other? Can't we shake hands and call it a match? And you won't need a dowry for her either. Perhaps you may find something in your own purse too. Oh, shame on you, Laser. My own purse? My daughter Zaitl is not the sort I would sell for money. All right, just as you say. We'll leave the money out of it. The important thing is, let's get it over with. And I will be good to her, Tevya. I like her. So, what do you think? What do I think? What do I think? I never liked him. Why should I? Sure, you can have a pleasant conversation with him if you talk about kidneys and livers. On the other hand, he is a wealthy man. And when you are rich, no one will call you stupid. With a butcher, my daughter will never know hunger. On the other hand, he does have a problem. He is much older than her. Well, that's her problem. But she is much younger. That is his problem. I always thought of him as a butcher, but perhaps I misjudged him. He is a good man. He likes her. He will try to make her happy. So what do I think? What do I think? I think it's a match. You agree? I agree. Oh, Tevya, that's wonderful. Let's drink on it. Why not? To you, my friend. No, my friend. To you. No, to the both of us. To our agreement. To our agreement. To our prosperity. To our good health and happiness. And most importantly, to life, to life. Lahayam, 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 to life. Here's to the father I've tried to be. Here's to my bride to be. Drink Lahayam, to life, to life. Lahayam, 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 to life. Life has a way of confusing us, blessing and bruising <laughs> us. Drink Lahayam, to life. God would like us to be joyful even when our hearts lie panting on the floor. How much more can we be joyful even when there's something to be joyful for? To life, to life, Lachayam. To Zaitl, my daughter. My wife! <laughs> it gives you something to think no, about. No, something to drink about. Drink Lachayam. To life! Ramarka! Yes, Vesero! Drinks for everybody! Yay! Hey! What's the occasion? Oh,
taking life off the grind. Ten years old is Saito. Too late. Futures be pleasant ones, not like our present ones. Drink the Hyam to life, to life, the Hyam. The Hyam, the Hyam to life. It takes a wedding to make a say, let's live another day. Drink the Hyam to life. We'll raise our glass and sip a drop of snobs in honor of the great good luck that favored you. We know that when good fortune favors to such men, it stands to reason we deserve it too. To us and our good fortune, be happy, be healthy, long life. And if our good fortune never comes, you to whatever comes, drink the heart of to life. <laughs> May you live to see a thousand reasons to rejoice. Oh!
Nostrum! Yo! And may we live together in peace! Peace, yes! Yeah! Good night, Tevia. Good night. You know, Tevia, after the wedding, we will be related. <laughs> you will be my papa! <laughs> Your papa? I always wanted a son, but perhaps one a little younger than myself? No. <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Constable. What's the you. celebration? Constable is marrying off his eldest daughter. I offer my congratulations, Tevya, on your daughter. Thank you, Your Honor. And Tevya, there is a bit of news I think I should tell you. Yes? And I am telling you this news because I like you. You are a decent, honest person, even if you are a Jewish dog. Thank you, Your Honor. How often does a man get a compliment like that? And your news? We have received orders that sometime soon there is to be a, a little unofficial demonstration. A pogrom? Here? No, no, no. Just a, a little unofficial demonstration. How little? Just some mischief, so that if an inspector comes through, he will see we have done our duty. Personally, I don't know why there has to be this trouble between people. But, I thought I should tell you, as a friend. Thank you, Your Honor. You are a good man, I must say. It is a shame you are not a Jew. <laughs> that is what I've always liked about you, Tavia. Always joking around. Congratulations again on the daughter. Dear God, did you have to send me news like that on a night like this? It is true that we are the chosen people, but once in a while, can't you choose somebody else? <laughs> By the way, thank you for sending me a husband for my daughter Zaito. L'chaim. So, children, today I will read you the story of Laban and Jacob from the Bible, and then we will discuss it together. All right? Yes, Perchik. Good. Now, Laban had two daughters, Leah and the beautiful Rachel. Jacob loved the younger Rachel and wanted to ask Laban for her hand. Laban agreed if Jacob would work for him for seven years. Seven years? Was Laban a mean man? He was an employer. So, after seven years, do you know what happened? No, Perchik. <clears throat> Laban fooled him and gave him his ugly daughter, Leah. So, for Jacob to marry Rachel, he had to work for another seven years. So you see, children, the Bible clearly states that you should never trust an employer. <laughs> Do you understand? Yes, Perchik. Yes, Perchik. Papa Good. isn't up yet. No, no Mama. Mama. Enough lessons for today. We have to do Papa's work today also. How long can he sleep? He staggered home last night and fell into bed like a dead man. I couldn't get a word out of him. Put that away and go clean the house. Yes, Mama. And call me when Papa gets up. Yes, yes Mama. Mama. That was a very interesting lesson, Perchik. Did you think so? Although I don't know if the rabbi would agree with your interpretation. And neither, I suppose, would the rabbi's son. My little sisters have big tongues. And what do you know about him exactly, except for that he is the rabbi's son? Would you still be interested in him if he were the shoemaker's son or the tinsmith's son? At least I know this. 
He does not have any strange ideas about turning the world upside down. Certainly. Any new ideas would be strange to you. Now remember the Lord said, let there be light. Yes, but he was not talking to you personally. You have spirit, even a little intelligence perhaps. Thank you. But what good is your brain? Without curiosity, it is a rusty tool. Good day, Harold. We have an old custom here. A boy acts respectfully to a girl. But of course, that is too traditional for an advanced thinker like you. Our traditions. Nothing must change. Everything must stay exactly the way it is. We like our ways. Our ways are changing everywhere but here. Here, men and women must keep apart. Men study, women in the kitchen. Boys and girls should not touch, should not even look at each other. I'm looking at you. You are very brave. Did you know that in the city, boys and girls can be affectionate without the permission of a matchmaker? They hold hands together. They even dance together. New dances, like this. I learned it in Kiev. Do you like it? It's very nice. There. We have just changed an old custom. Yes, uh, well, uh, um, uh, you're welcome. No, uh, I mean, uh, thank you. Uh, I mean, good day. Good day. Oh, Bielka, Sprinza, what is your name? Hoddle, Papa. Oh, Hoddle, where is Saito? She is in the house. Did you not see her? No, no, tell her that I would speak with her. Thank you. Ah, oh, Reparchik, tell me. How did the lessons go today? I think we've made a good oh, beginning. Good, good. Ah, ah he's finally up! Ah, ah, what happened ah, last night? Besides, you're drinking like a peasant. Ah, did you see Laser Wolf? Ah, what did he say? What did you say? Do you ah, have news? Patience, woman. Patience. As the good book says, good news will stay and bad news will refuse to leave. There is another saying. You can die! from such a man. Oh, what did you want, Papa? Oh, title, title, my lamb, come. You are to be congratulated. You are going to be married. <gasps> married? What do you mean, Papa? Laser Wolf has asked for your hand. I knew it. The butcher? Oh, my heart told me this was our lucky day. Oh, dear God, I thank thee, I thank thee. So what do you say, Zaito? Oh, what can she say? My firstborn, a bride. May you grow old with him with fortune and honor. Not like Fru Masara, that first wife of his. She was a bitter woman, may she rest in peace. <laughs> but not like my Zaito. And now I must take Yenta, my Zaito, a bride. Mazel tov, Zaito. What, what, you call that a mazel tov? And you, Reb Perchik, are you not going to congratulate her? Congratulations, Zaito, on getting a rich man. Again, with the rich, rich, what is so wrong with being it rich? It is no reason to marry. Money is the world's curse. Oh, may the Lord smite me with it. May I never recover. <laughs> Zaito knows that I care only about her well-being. Am I right, Zaito? Yes, Papa. There, you see? I see. I see very well. Saito, why are you so silent? Are you not happy about this blessing? Oh, Papa, Papa! Saito, what is it? Saito, tell me, tell me. Papa, I don't want to marry him. I can't marry him, I can't. What do you mean? If I say you will, then you will. Papa, if it's a matter of money, I'll, I'll do anything. I'll, I'll hire myself out as a servant. I'll, I'll dig ditches, I'll hold rocks. Only don't <laughs> make me marry him, Papa! Taito, Taito, what is wrong with Lazar? He is a good man. He likes you. Papa, I'll be unhappy with him. All my life will be unhappy. I'll, oh. I'll dig ditches. But, but we made an agreement. 
And with us, an agreement is an agreement. Is it more important than I am, Papa? Papa, don't force me. I'll be unhappy. I'll make you happy. Oh, title, title, title. Of course. Of course, title. I, I won't force you. Oh, thank you, Papa. <laughs> yes, title. Oh, it just seems that it was not ordained that you should have all the comforts in life or that your mother and I should have a little joy in our old age after all our hard work is done and we are resting in our... <sighs> Rev Tavia, may I speak with you? Later, Mato, later. But Rev Tevia, I wish to speak with oh, you now. now, Mato, I have problems. But Rev Tevia, that's what I wanted to speak to you about. I think I can help. Oh, certainly, Mato. Like a bandage can help a corpse. Go, not now, Mato. At least listen to him, Papa. All right. You have a tongue, so talk. I hear that you are arranging a match for Zaito. He also has ears. I have a match for Zaito. <laughs> what kind of a match? A perfect fit. A perfect fit? Like a glove. Like a glove. This match was made exactly to measure. Made to measure? A perfect fit model. Quit talking like a tailor and tell me who it is! Please don't shout at me, Reb Tavia. It makes me very uncomfortable. I'm sorry, Motto. Is this better? <laughs> who is it? 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 It's me. Myself. Him? Himself? Either you're completely out of your mind or you're crazy. <laughs> he must be crazy. Arranging a match for yourself, Mato. What are you, the matchmaker, the bridegroom, the guests all rolled into one? I suppose you'll even perform the wedding ceremony yourself. Please, do not shout at me, Reb Tevia. And, well, as for being my own matchmaker, I know it's a little unusual. Unusual? Mato, it's crazy. <sighs> Times are changing, Reb Tevia. The thing is, over a year ago, your daughter Zeitl and I gave each other our pledge that we would marry. You gave each other a pledge? Yes, Papa. We gave each other our pledge. They gave each other a pledge. Unheard of. Absurd. They gave each other a pledge. Unthinkable. Where do you think you are? In Moscow? In Paris? Where do they think they are? America? And what do you think you're doing? You Stitcher, you ain't nothing! Who do you think you are? King Solomon? No, this isn't the way it's done. Not here, not now. Some things I will not, I cannot allow. Oh, no tradition! Marriages must be arranged by the Papa! This should never be changed! One little time I pull out a prop and where does it stop? Where does it stop? Where does it stop? Do I have something to say about my daughter or doesn't anyone have to ask a father anymore? I've wanted to ask you for some time, Reb Tevia, but first... I wanted to save up for my own sewing machine. Oh, quit talking nonsense, Motel. You are just a poor tailor. That's true, Reb Tevia. But even a poor tailor is entitled to some happiness. I promise you, Reb Tevia, your daughter will not starve. He is beginning to talk like a man. On the other hand, what kind of a match would that be? One with a poor tailor? On the other hand. He is an honest, hard worker. On the other hand, he has absolutely nothing. On the other hand, things cannot get any worse for him. They can only get better. They gave each other a pledge, unheard of, absurd. They gave each other a pledge, unthinkable. But look at my daughter's face She wants him, she loves him And look at my daughter's eyes So hopeful oh, no, 
tradition. Ah. Well, children, when shall we make the wedding? Oh, thank you, Papa. <laughs> Oh, Reb Tevia, I promise you, you won't be oh, sorry. I won't be sorry? I'm sorry already. Oh, thank you, Papa. Oh. Uh, uh, thank you, Papa. Oh, thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Go, go. <laughs> Pledge their troth, the modern children. Gold. Gold, what am I going to do about gold? What am I going to tell gold? Help. <laughs> <laughs> Marta! You were wonderful! It was a miracle. Why? Why, it was a miracle! <laughs> Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took a Daniel once again, stood by his side, and miracle of miracles, walked him to the lion's den. Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, I was afraid that God would frown. But like he did so long ago in Jericho, God just made a wall fall down. When Moses softened Pharaoh's heart, that was a miracle. When God made the waters of the Red Sea part, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is that out of a worthless lump of clay, God has made a man today. <laughs> Wonder of wonders, miracle of miracles, God took a tailor by the hand, turned him around, and miracle of miracles walked him to the promised land. When David slew Goliath, yes, that was a miracle. When God gave us manna in the wilderness, that was a miracle too. But of all God's miracles, large and small, the most miraculous one of all is the one I thought would never be. God has given you to me. Oh, Martha, laser, Oh, Martha, laser, the Oh, 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 Laser Wolf's first wife, Ruma Sarah, I swear, she was standing right here a minute ago. What's the matter with you, Tevya? Ruma Sarah has been dead for years. You must have been dreaming. Sha. Tell me what you dreamt, and I'll tell you what it meant. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't. It was too terrible. Tell me. All right, all right. Only don't be frightened. Tell me. All right. This was my dream. In the beginning, I dreamt that we were having a celebration of some kind. A celebration? Yes. Everybody that we knew was there, and musicians too. In the middle of the dream, in walks your grandmother Zaito. May she rest in peace. Grandmother Zaito? How did she look? For a woman who has been dead 30 years, she looked very good. Naturally, I went up to greet her. And she said to me, A blessing on your head. Mazel tov, mazel tov. To see a daughter wed. Mazel tov, mazel tov. And such a son-in-law like no one ever saw. Laser the tailor model comes up. Model? A worthy boy is he. Mazel tov, mazel tov. A pious family. Mazel tov, mazel tov. They named him after my dear Uncle Mordecai. The tailor model comes up. A tailor? 
She must have heard wrong. She meant right, the butcher. Right, of course. You must have heard wrong, Grandma. There's no tailor. What? You mean a butcher, Grandma, by the name of Laser Wolf? Yeah! But we announced it, Grandma, to our neighbors. We made a bargain, Grandma, with a butcher laser wolf. No, no, no! So you announced it, tell yes, yes. ya, that's your headache. But as for laser wolf, I say to you, tell ya, that's your headache, too! Muzzle tough, muzzle tough, muzzle tough. The tailor model Oh, it was Laser Wolf! The tailor model comes on! Shut! Shut! Daughter marrying my husband. Mr. Husband. Would you do this to your friend and name up from a Sarah? Have you no consideration for a woman's feelings? feelings. Handing over my belongings to a total stranger. Total stranger. How could you allow it? How? How could you let your daughter take my place? Live in my house, carry my keys, summer my clothes. Whoa. How could you allow your daughter to take her place? You wouldn't let it happen. Let it happen. Tell me that it isn't true and that I wouldn't worry. Let it worry. Say you didn't give your blessing to your daughter's marriage. marriage. Let me tell you what would follow such a fatal wedding. Fatal wedding. It is for the best, and it couldn't possibly be any better. Amen. Amen. A blessing on my head, mazel tov, mazel tov. Like Grandma Zaitel said, mazel tov, mazel tov. We'll have a son in law like no one ever saw. The tailor mazel comes oil. We haven't got the man. Mazel tov, mazel tov. We had when we began. Mazel tov, mazel tov. But since your grandma came, she'll marry, what's his name? The tailor mazel comes oil. The tailor mazel comes oil. The tailor mazel comes oil. The 
erzählen, was du kann Is that even? What's all the excitement? Tevi is Zaito's marrying. I know. Laser Wolf, the butcher. No. No. Mato, the tailor. Mato, the tailor, that is tailor. Oh, Mato, tough Mato. Why not? Let's go, Mendel. Oh, of course not. What's wrong with my son, Mato? We have oh, Mato. Nothing, Shandel. Mato. Yes, yes Mato. Mato. You so, you so. Do you have a wedding hat for me? Lazar Wolf ordered a hat, but it is not cheap. Well, I got his bride. I can get his hat. Then come, Mato. I'll show you. Haba. Take these to the shop and then watch it for a few minutes. I will be back shortly. Of course. Thank you, Hava. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mazel tov, Hava. Please, may I pass? Why? I'm congratulating you. Mazel tov, Hava. All right. Stop it. Why? What's wrong with you? She's just a Jew. I said stop it. Now you listen here, Fiedka. Goodbye, Sasha. I said goodbye. I'm sorry about that. He meant no harm. Doesn't he? Is there something you want? Well, yes, I'd like to talk to you. I'd rather not. I've noticed you at the booksellers. Not too many girls in this village like to read. Would you like this book? No, thank you. Why? Is it because I'm not Jewish? Do you think about me the way he thought about you? I didn't think that you would. And what do you know about me? Well, let me tell you about myself. I'm a pleasant fellow. I'm smart and kind, charming, honest, and quite modest. <laughs> I don't think we should be talking this way. I often do things that I shouldn't. Go ahead, take the book. It's by Heinrich Kein. Happens to be Jewish. <laughs> that doesn't matter. You're quite right. Good. Well, after you're done reading it, I'll ask you how you liked it, and we'll talk about it for a little while, and then we'll talk about life and how we feel about things, and it'll all be quite pleasant. Ah! Fiedka, may I help you? No, thank you. Fiedka, you forgot your book. No, Matel, it's mine. Thank you. Good day, Hava. Good day. Fiedka. Good day, Fiedka.
Is this the little girl I carry? Is this the little boy at play? I don't remember growing older. When did they? When did she get to be a beauty? get to be so tall Wasn't it yesterday when they were small Sunrise, sunset Sunrise, sunset Swiftly Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset.
Uh, it was calm, a calm, calm. Oh, so wonderful. Is this future matches, ladies? Future matches? Perfect, thank you. <sighs> my friends, my friends, we are gathered here to share the joy of the newlyweds, Matul and Zaitor. May they live together in peace to a ripe old age. Amen. Amen. Ah, oh, you comes our beloved rabbi. May he be no. with us for the many, many years. Amen. 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 Now, I would like to announce that the bride's parents, stand up, are giving the newlyweds, they following, a new feather bed. Oh, oh muscle top. It's very nice. Oh, pillows. A goose pillows. A goose pillows. Goose pillows. Goose pillows. And this pair of silver candlesticks. They are. Very nice. Now, let us not in our joy tonight forget those who are no longer with us. Our dear departed, who lived in pain and poverty and hardship and who died <laughs> in pain and poverty and hardship. <laughs> but do not fear oh. Let us be merry and content like a good friend laser wolf who has everything in the world. Except the bride. <laughs> <laughs> but Laser has no ill feelings. In fact, he is a gift for the newlyweds. He would like to announce himself. A gift? Come, Laser Wolf. Come, come. That is nice. That is good to hear. Like he said, I have no ill feelings. What's done is done. I am giving the newlyweds five chickens. <gasps> five. 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 five chickens. One yeah. for each of the first so five many. Sabbaths oh, so of their newly wedded life. You are a good man, Laser. On behalf of my daughter and her new husband, I accept your gift. There is a saying Look, that Tanya, goes... I am not marrying your daughter. I don't have to listen to your sayings. Uh, if you would just listen for a second, I was only going Why to say... Why should I listen to you? A man who breaks an agreement! I have a right to talk! A right? What right? This is not your word! It should have been! What we should be in front of the whole village! The rabbi... Rabbi says something. I say... I say... I say... Let's sit down. We all heard the wise words of the rabbi. Let's sit down. <sighs> now, I'd like to sing a little song. You can keep your diseased chickens! <laughs> you can keep your diseased chickens! You can keep your diseased chickens! The doors were not shut, so you can't trick me. We drank on it, there was nothing to drink. What is screaming about? An agreement. They drank on it. A sign. That's all nonsense. Zaito wanted to marry Mato and not Laser. A young girl decides for herself? Yes. Why not? They love each other. Love? Oh, terrible. He's a radical. What mess. happens to their matchmaker? I say, I say. Oh, we know, we know. Let's sit down. Uh, musicians, ah, uh, yes, you, the short man in the hall. Yes, the one waving the stick. Play, play, a dance, a dance. <laughs> Come, dance, it's a wedding. Some wedding. So, who will dance with me? What is he doing? You know that's a sin. It is no sin to dance at a wedding. <laughs> but there is with a, with a girl. That's what happens when you bring a wild man into the house. Yes, he's crazy. So, yeah, no, he is no wild man. His ideas may be a little 
different, but he is it's not the a wild sin. man. Mm. It is no sin. Ask the rabbi. Ask him. <laughs> well, let's see. Tell us, Rabbi. I wonder. Dancing. Dancing. Okay, okay. Daniel. David. Deuteronomy. Dancing, here it is. It is not exactly forbidden, but what it is. You see? What it is not forbidden. It is no sin. Now, will somebody please dance with me? Oh. <gasps> it's only a dance, Mama. Tevye, what are you going to do? Play. <laughs> Stands there like a peasant. Doing nothing. Go, Dutch! Look at that She's, She's the dog! She's the dog! She's the man! I can see that she is dancing! And I! He will stop that! Please, no! I'm going to dance no. with my life! Get this rope out! Get the rope! Hold it! Can you believe it? I will not stand with this! Why are they moving the rope? Why are you moving the chair? Are you encouraging this? No, you don't. Can you believe this? Look at all of them. I'm glad we have peace, but at the same time. at a bad time. I'm sorry, but the orders are for tonight. No. Go on, play. Please, what is this, Constable? Not now? In the middle of a wedding. All right, man. Please. No. Hey. Hey. All right. Enough. I am genuinely sorry. You understand. Of course. Come. Take him to the house. Well, what is everybody standing around for? Let's clean up.
It was quite a dowry you gave my daughter Zaito at her wedding. Tell me, was that really necessary? Anyway, Motel and Zaito have been married almost two months now. They both work very hard and are as poor as synagogue mice, but they are both so happy that they do not know how miserable they are. <laughs> Motel keeps talking about a sewing machine. Dear God, I know that you are very busy, what with wars and revolution, floods and plagues, all the things that bring people closer to you. But couldn't you take just a second away from all your catastrophes and get it for him? How much trouble could it be, really? And while you are in the neighborhood, my horse's left leg still. What, am I bothering you too much? I know, I know. As the good book says, why should I tell you what the good book says? <laughs> <clears throat> Please don't be upset, Hoddle. Why should I be upset? If you must leave, leave. But I have to leave. They expect me in Kiev tomorrow morning. So you told me. Then, goodbye. Great changes are taking place in this country. Tremendous changes, but they can't happen so by naturally themselves. So you feel that you personally have to... Not only me. Many people, Jews, Gentiles, many people hate what's going on. Don't you understand? I understand, of course. You want to leave, then goodbye. Hoddle, your father, the others here think what happened at Zaito's wedding was a little cloudburst and it's all over and everything will now be peaceful again. It won't. Horrible things are happening all over the land. Pogroms, violence, whole villages are being emptied of their people and it's reaching everywhere and it will reach here. Do you understand? Yes, I suppose I do. Good. And I have work to do. The greatest work a man can do. Then, goodbye, Perchik. Before I go, there is a certain question I wish to discuss with you. Yes? <clears throat> um, a political question. What is it? The, uh, the question of um, marriage. This is a political question? In a theoretical sense, yes. The relationship between a man and a woman, also known as marriage, is based on mutual beliefs and a common philosophy towards and society. And affection. And affection. This relationship has positive social values and reflects a unity and solidarity. And affection. And affection. And I am personally in favor of it. Do you understand? Yes, I think you're asking me to marry you. In a theoretical sense. <laughs> yes, I am. I was hoping you were. Then I take it you approve, and we can consider ourselves engaged even though I am going away. Oh, I'm very happy, Hoddle, very happy indeed. <laughs> so am I, Perchik. Why, Perchik, what is the matter? I used to tell myself that I had everything, but that was only half true. I had an aim in life, and that was everything, but now I even have you. I have something that I would die for, someone that I can live for too. Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more. Besides having everything, I know what everything's for. I used to wonder, could there be a wife to share such a difficult, wandering kind of life? It's only out of sight, waiting. Tomorrow, where our home will be. I'll be with you, and that's home enough for me. Everything is right at hand, simple, simple and clear. I have something that I would die for, someone that I can live for, too. <laughs> Yes, now I have everything, not only everything, I have a little bit more.
Besides having everything, I know what everything's for. And when will we be married, Pertik? I will send for you as soon as I can. It will be a hard life, Hoddle. But it will be less hard if we live it together. Yes. <clears throat> Good evening. Good evening, Reb Tevya. I have some news for you. I must leave this place. When? Right away. I'm very sorry, Perchik. I'm sure we all will miss you very much. But I also have some good news. You may congratulate me. Congratulations? What for? We're engaged. Engaged? Yes, Papa, we're engaged. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, you are not. Hoddle, I'm sorry. I know that you like him and that he likes you, but you are going away, so I hope you have a tri good trip, that you will be very happy, and, and my answer is no. Please, Papa, you don't understand. No, I understand, I understand. I gave my permission to Mottl and Zaitl, so you feel that you also have a right. I'm sorry, Perchuk, I like you, but you are going away, so go in good health, and my answer is still no. You don't understand, No, Papa. you are not listening, I say no. I'm sorry, Hoddle. We will find someone else for you here in Anatevya. What is it? We are not asking for your permission, but for your blessing. We are going to get married. You're not asking for my permission? But we would like your blessing, Papa. I can't believe my own ears. My blessing? For what? For going over my head, impossible. At least with Zaito and Mottle, they asked me, they begged me. But now if I like it or not, she'll marry him. So what do you want from me? Go on, be wed, and tear out my beard and uncover my head. Tradition, they're not even asking permission from the papa. What's happening to the tradition? One little time I pull out a thread and where is it led? Where is it led? Where is it led? To this. A man tells me he's getting married. He does not ask me, but he tells me. And first, he abandons her. He is not abandoning me, Papa. As soon as I can, I will send for her. I love her. He loves her. Love, it's a new style. <laughs> On the other hand, our old ways were once new, were they not? On the other hand, they decided without parents, without a matchmaker. After all, did Adam and Eve have a matchmaker? Yes, they did. <laughs> then it seems that these two have the same matchmaker. They're going over my head, unheard of, absurd. For this they want to be blessed, unthinkable. I'll lock her up in her room. I couldn't, I stood. But look at my daughter's eye. She loved him. No, oh, no, tradition! Oy. Very well, children. You have my blessing and my permission. Oh, thank you, Papa. <laughs> you don't know how happy that makes me. Oh, what else could I do? Thank you, Papa. Oh, thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. Oh, what will I tell your mother? Another dream. <laughs> Perhaps if you're going to tell her something, you could tell her that I'm going to visit a rich uncle or oh, something like please, that. Please, Barchik, I can handle my own wife. No. Golda, there is something that I would like to... Sp no, no, no. Golda, I have been thinking very much lately and... And, uh... Golda, I, I have been speaking... To Golda, Golda, Golda! Go, 
Golda. Golda, I, I have been talking with Parchik and Hoddle, and... Well? Well, uh, they seem to be very fond of each other. Well? Well, I have decided to give them my permission to become engaged. <gasps> I will see you in the house. What? <laughs> Just like that, without even asking me? Who asks you? I am the papa. Who is he? A pauper, he has nothing, absolutely oh, nothing. Oh, no, Gold, I wouldn't say that. I, I hear he has a rich uncle. <laughs> Gold, uh, he is a good man, Gold. I like him. He is a little crazy, but I like him. And what's more important, Hoddle likes him. Hoddle loves him. So, what can we do, Golda? It's a new world. Love. Golda. Do you love me? Do I what? Golda, Golda. Do you love me? Do I love you? Who is our daughter's getting married and there's trouble in the town? You're upset, you're worn out, go inside, go lie down. Maybe it's indigestion. Hold I'm asking you a question. Do you love me? I know, but do you love me? Do I love you? Well? For 25 years I've washed your clothes, cooked your meals, cleaned your house, given you children, milked the cow. After 25 years, why talk about love right now? Cold. The first time I met you was on our wedding day. I was scared. I was shy. I was nervous. So was I. But my father and my mother said we'd learn to love each other. So now I'm asking, Cold, do you love me? I'm your wife. I know. I know. But do you love me? Do I love him? Well? For 25 years I've lived with him, fought with him, starved with him. 25 years my bed is his. If that's not love, what is? Then you love me. I suppose I love you too It doesn't change a thing But even so After 25 years It's nice to Your sister, Hava, with that, Fiedka. And it's not the first time I've seen them together. You saw Hava with Fiedka? Would I make it up? Oh, and Zaitl, I happened to be at the post office earlier today, and the postman told me that there was a letter there for your sister, Hava. Oh, wonderful, I'll go get it. I got it. <laughs> it's from her intended purchase. Oh, Hava will be so happy. She's been waiting for night. But it's open. It happened to be open. Rivka! Rivka! I have such news for you. Come on. Remember Perchek, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding? 
When Zaitul married Motel, and Perchik started dancing with Tevu's daughter, Hoddle. Well, I just learned that Perchik's been arrested in Kiev. No! Yes! Shendo! Shendo! Just wait till I tell you! Remember Perchik, that crazy student? Remember at the wedding? He danced with Tevu's Hoddle. Well, I just learned that Hoddle's been arrested in Kiev. No, terrible, terrible. Mirala, Mirala, you won't believe what, what I just heard. What? You won't believe it, you won't believe it. What? Do you remember Perchik, that student from Kiev? Remember how he acted when Zaito married Motel? Well, I just heard that Motel's been arrested for dancing at the wedding. No! no. In Kiev? Rabbi, Rabbi. Remember Perchik with all his strange ideas. Remember Zaitel's wedding. Where Tavia danced with Golda. Well, I've just heard that Tavia's been arrested and Golda's gone to Kiev. No! no. God forbid! She, she did. didn't! She did! Oh, I mean, ever terrible ever news! Ever 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 terrible news! Remember Perchik? Yes. That started all the trouble. So. Well, I just heard from someone who should know. What? That gold has been arrested uh, and Hado's gone to Kiev. Uh, Model studies dancing uh, and Tevye's acting strange. Uh, Sprinza has the measles. Uh, Bielka has the moms. And that's what comes from men and women dancing. You don't have to wait for the train, Papa. You'll be late for your customers. No, no, no. Just a few minutes more. So, you see in big trouble this hero of yours, arrested and convicted? Yes, but he did nothing wrong. He cares nothing for himself. Everything he does is for humanity. If he did nothing wrong, he would not be in trouble, no. Papa, how can you say that? What wrongs did Joseph do? And Abraham and Moses? And they had troubles. But why won't you tell me where he is now, this, this Joseph of yours? It is far, Papa. <coughs> Terribly far. He's in a settlement in Siberia. In Siberia? And he asks you to leave your father and mother and join him in that frozen wasteland and marry him there? No, Papa. He did not ask me to go. I want to go. I don't want him to be alone. I want to help him in his work. It is the greatest work a man can do, Papa. But Hado, I love. Papa. Make you understand why I do what I do, why I must travel to a distant land far from the home I love. Once I was happily content to. Yes. 
settled long ago I must go I must go Who could imagine I'd be wandering so Far from the home I love Yet there with my love I'm home But who, my darling, will be there in the wilderness to perform a wedding ceremony? Papa, I promise you, we will be married under a canopy. No doubt a rabbi or two was also arrested. I always knew that he was a good man, Hoddle. Give him my regards and tell him that I rely on his honor to keep my daughter safe. You tell him that. Papa. God alone knows when we shall see each other again. Then we shall leave it in his hands. You take care of her. See that she dresses warm. Not today. <laughs> it is still today. <laughs> what don't you understand? Ah, Remorka, do you, uh, did you hear a new arrival at Mato and Zaitos? A new arrival at Mato and Zaitos? A new arrival? Oh, rabbi, Rabbi, did you hear a new arrival at Mato and Zaitos? <laughs> ah, really? Mazel tov. Mazel tov. <laughs> Chandel, where are you running to? <laughs> to my boy model. There's a new arrival there. It is very nice. It's here. Yes, it's here. It's beautiful. I know. Have you tried it yet? Look. Oh, beautiful. Look how close and even the stitching is. Beautiful. I know. From now on, my clothes will be perfect. Made by machine. No more handmade clothes. Ah, Rabbi, what do you think of my sewing machine? Uh, Rabbi, is there a blessing for a sewing machine? A blessing for a sewing machine? There's a blessing for everything. Let's see, let's see. Sewing machine. Samuel. Samson. Hmm. Sewing machine, here we are. Harukata, Singer's Electric, Harukata, Double Stitch. May God bless you and this machine. Amen. Thank you, Masuta. Oh, and Zaito, the baby. How is the baby? Oh, he's wonderful, Mama. Oh, marvelous. Is he sleeping at He's doing so well. Good afternoon. Thank you, thank you. Ah, good afternoon, Fiedka. I came for the shirt. Ah, yes, it's right here. Thank you. You see, it's my new sewing machine. I see, it's quite nice. Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. 
So, Mato, how does it work? Well, you see, it's an ingenious thing. You lift this latch here, and then... Hava, have you talked to your father yet? I will, but I'm afraid. Let me try. No, that would be the worst thing. I'm sure of it. Let me talk to him. I'll talk to him, I promise. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good day. Good day. What were you and he talking about? Nothing, we were just talking. Papa, Fiedka and I have known each other for a long time. Papa, you know that I would be much happier if the two of you would remain friends from a distance. You must not forget who you are and what that man is. He has a name, Papa. Well, of course he does. All of God's creatures on earth have a name. Fiedka is not a creature, Papa. Fiedka is a man. And who says that he is not? It's just that he is a different kind of man. And as the good book says, each must seek his own kind, which translated means a bird may love a fish, but where would they build their home together? The world is changing, Papa. No, Hava. Some things do not change, not for us. We don't feel that way. We? Fied can I. We want to be married. Are you out of your mind? Don't you know what this means, marrying outside of the faith? But Papa! No, Hava! I said no. You never, never speak of this again. Never say his name again. Never see him again. Do you understand me? Yes, Papa. I understand you. Thank you. Good day. We'll see you soon. Come, children. Goodbye. You're finally here! Let's go home. It's time for supper. I wish to see Moto's new machine. You can see it another time. It's late. Go the quiet before I get angry. And when I get angry, he even flies! Don't dare to fly! I am very frightened of you. After supper, I will faint. Come home. Golda, you are not listening. I am the man of the house. I am the papa. And I wish to see Moto's new machine now! There, now, now we may leave. <laughs> How long can that miserable horse of mine complain about this leg? Dear God, if I can walk on two legs, why can't he on three? I know, I know, I am very upset about my horse. After all, he is one of your creatures. He has the same rights as I have. The right to rest, the right to be sick, the right to work like a horse. And dear God, I am sick and tired of pulling this cart. I know, I know, I should push it for a while. Tanya! Oh, what, what is it? It's Hava. She left this morning. With Fierka. What? I looked all over for her. I even went to the priest. And he told me that they were married. Married? Go home, Golda. Do we have other children at home? Go home, Golda. But you have work to do. I have work to do. But Hava is dead to us. We will forget about her. Go home. Little bird, little Havala, I don't understand what's happening today. Everything is all a blur. All I can see is a happy child, this sweet little bird you were, Havala, Havala. Little bird, little Havala, you are always such a pretty little thing, everybody's favorite child. 
Gentle and kind and affectionate, this sweet little bird you were, half a love, half a love. Papa, I'd like to talk with you. <coughs> Papa, stop. At least listen to me. <coughs> Papa, I beg you to accept us. To accept them? How can I accept them? Can I deny everything that I believe in? On the other hand, can I deny my own child? But how can I turn my back on my faith, on my people? If I try to bend that far, I will break. On the other hand, no, no, there is no other hand. No, Hava. No, Hava, no. No, Hava, no. Papa, please. No, Papa. I, no. Papa. <laughs> Tradition, tradition, tradition. Golda, are you here? I have a surprise. Well. Wonderful boys, both learned boys, from good families, Golda. Each of them a prize, a jewel. You couldn't do better for your girls, just right from the top of the tree. I don't know, Yenta. My girls are still so young. So what do they look like, grandfathers? <laughs> Meanwhile, they'll be engaged. Nothing to worry about later, no looking around. Their future signed and sealed. Which one for which? What does it matter? Take your pick. Tavia, have, Golda, what? have you seen Rev Tavia today? He's in the house. Why is there some trouble? The girls, call to your father. What is it? Why are you gathered like a bunch of goats? Sense. What's the matter? Be? Ah, Tavia, have you seen the constable today? No, why? There are some rumors in town. Rumors? We thought because you knew him so well, well, maybe you know what is true and what is not. What are the rumors? Someone from Zola didn't told me that there was an edict that issued in Petrograd. It said... <sighs> Constable, what is the good news in the world today? I see you have company. They are my friends. It is just as well. What I have to say is for their ears also. Have you? How much time will it take you to sell your house and all your house of goods? Sure. <laughs> sell my house? Why should I sell my house? Is it in anybody's way? I came here to tell you you're going to have to leave on a Tavka. And how did I come to deserve such an honor? Not just you, but everybody. At first I thought you might be spared because of your daughter Hava. My daughter is dead. I understand. At any rate, it affects all of you. You have to leave. But Anatevka has always been our little corner of the world. Why should we leave? I don't know why. There is 
trouble in the world. Troublemakers. Oh, like us. Not just you, of course, but all the villages must be emptied. Zaladin, Revlevka, the district must be emptied in three days. And, and you, you who have known us your whole life, you would carry out such an I have nothing to do with it. Do you not understand? Oh, we understand. Tell you to go. What yes. is it? What? You will be forced out. We will defend ourselves. We can yes. defend ourselves. Yes. Fight! <laughs> Against our army, I wouldn't advise it. I have some advice for you. Get off my land. This is still my home. My land. Get off my land! You have three days. After a lifetime of piece of paper and get the out? We should get together the people of Zoladin. Maybe they have yes. 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 All of us. All the people yes. all of us should get we got together. We can stop them. Oh, very good. That way the whole world will be blind and toothless. Rabbi, we've waited all our lives for the Messiah to come. Would now not be a good time? We'll have to wait. Someplace else. In the meantime, let's get packing. Yes. I have more than a hundred bottles of vodka. What will I do? <coughs> well, Andatevka hasn't exactly been the Garden of Eden. That is true. After all, what have we got here? <sighs> A little bit of this, a little bit of that. A pot. A pen. A broom. A hat. Somebody should have set a match to this place years ago. A bench. So a what's a stove? Or a house. People who pass through Anatevka don't even know they've been here. A stick of wood, a piece of cloth. What do we leave? Nothing much, only a Uncle Abram, but he doesn't know it yet. I wish you and the baby were coming with us. We will be staying in Warsaw until we have enough money to join you. Here, Matel. Be careful with these. 
My father and mother made the rest in peace, gave them to us on our wedding day. Sprinza, Fialka, help me pack the rest of the clothes. Golda! Golda, darling! I had to see you before I left because I have such news for you. Remember yesterday how I was telling you how I had nowhere to go? Nothing to do with these old bones? Well, now I know. You want to hear? I, I will tell you. <laughs> All my life I have dreamed of going to one place. And now I will walk, I will crawl, I will get there. Guess where? You will I... never guess. What do we say? Every year during Passover? Next year in Jerusalem? Next year in the Holy Land? You are going to the Holy Land. You guessed. You want to know why? I will Actually. tell you. <laughs> my husband, Myron, he came to me in my sleep, in my dreams, and he said to me, Yenta, go to the Holy Land. Usually, of course, I would not listen to him because too much brains he was not blessed with. <laughs> but in my sleep, in my dreams, it's a sign, right? Of course, right. So. Somehow or other, I am going to the Holy Land. You want to know what I will do there? I will tell you. I am a matchmaker, no? I will arrange marriages, yes. So, I am going to the Holy Land to help our people increase and multiply. It's my mission. So goodbye, Golda. Goodbye, Yenta. Be well and go in peace. Maybe next time we can meet on happier occasions. Meanwhile, we suffer, we suffer, we suffer in silence, right? Of course, right. God be with you. Come, Golda, we must leave soon. Leave? It sounds so easy. Not to worry. We will all be together soon. You will see. Martel and Zytel and the baby, they will come too. That Martel, he is, he is a person. And Hoddle and Parchik, when will we ever see them? Do they come visit us from Siberia for every Sabbath? You know what she writes. He sits in prison and she works hard, but soon he will be released and together they will turn the world upside down. She could not be happier. And the other children, they will be with us as well? Not all. All, Golda, all. Come, we must finish packing. I still have to go back and sweep the floor. Oh, sweep the floor? What for? I don't want to leave a dirty house. Well, Tevya, I am on my way. Where are you off to? Chicago, in America. My wife, from Sarah, may she rest in peace, has a brother there. Well, that is very nice. I hate him. But... A relative is a relative. Goodbye, Tevya. Saito, is everybody finished in the house? Almost, Papa. Good, good. good. Papa! Papa will see you. I want him to. I want to talk with him. He will not listen, but at least he will hear. Maybe it would be better if I went <gasps> home and told Papa! Mama. Papa, we came to say goodbye. We are also leaving this place. We're going to Krakow. We cannot stay among those who do such things to others. We wanted you to know that. Goodbye, Papa. Mama. Some are driven away by edicts, others by silence. Come, Hava. Goodbye, Hava. Fiedka. God be with you. God be with you. We will write you in America if you like. Yes, we will be staying with Uncle Abram. Yes, Mama.
will be staying with Uncle Abram. We will be staying with Uncle Abram. Must everybody know our business, Stop Goldberg? yelling and finish packing. We have a train to catch. I don't need your advice, Goldberg. Saito, don't forget the baby. We have a train to catch. And the boat. Bielka, Sprinza, put the bundles on the way. Goodbye, Papa. Goodbye, Mato. Goodbye, Mama. Mato. Work hard. Come to us soon. I will work hard, Reb Chevia. I promise you, I will work Mato, hard. Mato, Mato. I know. Come, children, come, come, we must finish. Golda, Golda, we can leave these uh, pots. No, we can't. All right, all right, we will take them with. We're going on a train, we're going on a boat. Stop that! Behave yourselves. We are not in America yet. Come, children. Let's go.